What's up guys? You guessed it, this is another free-for-all on Shakira's Plateau. I am Sai, and I am playing against a Zerg, a Protoss, and a Random. Uh, I just played in a free-for-all just a few moments ago, and I actually didn't realize it until the very end, but two players left right away. So I was <laughs> I was commentating and getting all into it, and I had, you know, I was commentating really well, I wasn't really stuttering or anything like that. And then I realized that uh, there's only one other guy in the game, and he is a total noob. So <laughs> I'm going to try to redeem myself with this replay here. This is a first-person view, of course. And uh, already I'm doing something wrong because I'm not going like this, you know, like most people do. I should be doing this, otherwise I can't be good. Oh, wait, that's not true at all. People are just spazzes. But uh, I do uh, I do like to do the, the drone thing. I do the, the spam drone button. But that's a little different because that's actually effective. That actually helps you do better. It gets your drone out as soon as you can. This doesn't do anything to help the actual game. You know, it might warm you up a little bit or whatever, but I'm not a fan. I think it looks stupid. I think people do it because they think it looks cool. I don't do it. I never will do it. So get off my back and watch the fucking game. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have dropped that F-bomb so early. I apologize to my children's virgin ears. Alright, so we are underway here. Uh, my idea, my plan, is to break down... Nope, that's not high yield. Well, I was going to break down these rocks and take high yield, but that's not high yield. So, uh, I'm just going to take my natural first. I'm going to do a fast expansion here. And if I am playing against a Protoss, I think I did say there was one Protoss. I'm going to get some Corruptors just to, to freaking own them in the face because every single Protoss on Free Pros go mass colossi and it's just so annoying I want to punish them in the face with my jism so that's gonna happen very soon here let's get this expansion up uh, I timed it a little bad I should have sent my drone a little bit sooner just because uh, I had a 300 way faster than I thought I would but let's uh, not worry about that I'm gonna get my spawning pool down as soon as I can I'm not too worried about this game. Uh, I'm com the reason I commentate a free for alls first person is because they're a lot more casual. And uh, the other games, you know, I'd be lying if I said I didn't care if I lost. And so I don't want to be commentating live if it's, if it's going to distract me. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty freaking hardcore when it comes to StarCraft. So <laughs> yeah, don't mess with me. Damn. Okay, my roommate has two cats, and he talks to them like they're dogs, and it's the most obnoxious thing ever. They just do not listen to him. They're on the table and doing everything, and I just want to like donkey punch him in the face and tell him they're not or they're not dogs, dude. They're gonna do what they want. You should have known what you're getting. He's can you hear him? Oh my gosh! Should have known what you're getting into when you got two cats. You don't need two cats. Anyway, I am being scouted by this red overlord, so he's gonna see my fast expansion. So we'll see what he decide how he decides to respond to that. My pool is down. And uh, I'm gonna get some lings, and I'm get, gonna get two queens right away. It's because they're good for defending, and uh, obviously they're gonna give you a huge production advantage once you're able to get your minerals up and running here. Uh, so this overlord is gonna die. I have a feeling he's just gonna continue coming down. I'm gonna continue to train lings and get link speed right away, and just mass up quite a few to defend any of these early zerg rushes. But once I get my lings, I will send him out to his base and see what he's doing. So let's research the link speed. And uh, let's start rallying all our drones over here to my mini my mini base. That's what I used to call them, like in StarCraft 1, mini bases. I never called them explodes. Inject some larva. And I'd like to thank you guys for the tips on the uh, hot king, the queens to four, along with my hatchery. A lot of times I just do it normal anyway, but you know, when I'm in battles, I just hit four, R, and then select one of these hatcheries. But oh, look at this. He is fast expanding too. I'm going to take you out fast. You do not scout me and get away with it. Or, well, you almost did, but uh, I decided to kill you. And I do have two hatcheries up and running. Just need to make sure to have free overlord supply. And I'm just going to keep sending my link out to the Zerg player. I don't want to kill him right away. I want to have some fun because it is a free-for-all. So I'm just going to go into his base and kind of taunt him a little bit. Uh, you don't see a lot of good players in these free-for-alls. So, uh, oh, he does have a roach ward. Let's just kill off some drones. There we go. Yeah, that should do. <laughs> oh man, he lost so many. He's got like three drones left. But uh, yeah, I'm a dick. I don't really care. I'm going to get down my Roach Warden as well. And then I'm just going to start massing Roaches. And I think my first attack, uh, if the enemy forces you know, can't really counter it, I think my first attack is going to be a group of girl Roaches 
underwing underneath their anuses, and they're gonna tear them apart. It's gonna be really cool. So my Roach Warren, Warren, Warren is going down. I need to inject some more larva. Uh, I like to hotkey my evolution, evolution chambers to nine. I know I repeat myself a lot. It's hard to remember what I say uh, in every single game, but I do have a lot of my rindlings down here that I did rally. He's got oh, he's got a sizable amount of roaches. What is that? Like six or seven roaches? And he's got six roaches there. So let me just fall back here. I'm gonna train some roaches of my own once this Warren gets up. Just in, in, just in case he tries to do a spiteful counter attack. So my Roach Warren is up. I'm getting my first range upgrade for my Roaches. I'm just going to start pumping them out. I'm going to pump them out until I get uh, about 10 or so. And then I'm going to do another scout on the, the Zerg just to see how many Roaches he does have. But you might be able to like hear me spamming. What I'm doing is I'm hitting 5SR, 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 5SR. I don't know why I uh, hit 5 over again when I can just hit SR. But it's just, uh, it's, I guess it's my own little habit. Not like this, but something a little more productive. But I am getting my lair, I want to get my roach speed as soon as I can, and of course I want to get my roach burrowing. Uh, how many drones do I have on here? could use a few more drones on there, and I need quite a few more drones on my main, so I'm going to forego some of the, getting some of the roaches to saturate that a little, a little well, weller, little weller. That made sense, you're awesome. And yeah, as I thought, he's going to put them at the choke and try to put down his expansion again. But he's not going to be able to do that because I am going to attack him with quite a few roaches and they're going to be underground. So this is going to be giggle inducing. I'm going to give out a lot of giggles to you guys. Put some overlords over here just to see what he's doing. Looks like the toss is about to expand if he hasn't already. I don't see any probes. Okay, looks like his expansion just went up, but I do see that. Not worried about that. I always want an opponent to get all built up just to give him a fair chance against me. I'm going to research my roaches burrow. And let's get uh, my next two geysers here and replace those drones on the minerals that I just used to build. Oh my god, that is a lot of void rays. Holy shit. Hydroden, here I come. Let's get some uh, spore colonies here. This is going to be trouble, you guys. If he does come over here, my overlord will spot him. Let's get my overlord speed just to get some scouting in. But uh, I am now panicking. I do not want to die yet. I want this commentary to be good. Hopefully that's all he's getting so far. But I need to get my Hydro Den down right away. My first attack upgrade is ready. Once my burrow gets ready, I'm just going to go in and try to take out the Zerg. Hopefully by that time I will have some Hydras to deal with the Protoss' Void Rays, but I don't know if he's going to move out with those or what. But let's hope not. Uh, Hydra, Hydra range upgrade. And even with four geysers, man, I'm still not getting enough gas to like pump out Hydra steadily, so I might just have to take uh, this base out here as well. Let's just make sure I already have these full of drones. Now it looks like I need some more on my... Uh, well, first of all, I need some more overlords, and I also need some more on this base, my main base. Another evolution chamber to, just to pump out the range upgrades a lot faster. Overlords have come, hawking those two nine once again. But the overlords have come, so I am training a lot more uh, hydras now. And of course, if I'm going to use burrow with my roaches, I need to research it. Oh my god. It's kind of weird how you can research burrow and... Uh, the burrow moving with the roaches and also faster burrow moving with the infestors and you can't even use it until you research burrow so it's kinda silly let's get my third expansion uh... need a couple more let me get three more there and this is like when my APM drops the most is when I'm actually like looking at the workers at my bases but uh... My Second evolution chamber is up. I'm just going to get my second attack upgrade. And oh, we got another Zerg down here, so we don't have any Terran. Void rays. I'm going to lure this Zerg or this toss down to the Zerg's base. Maybe he'll find him. Oh, yeah, it worked. <laughs> he probably thought it was his overlord, but it wasn't. But he has quite a few void rays, and uh, void rays are going to run for me if I get Hydras. So I'm going to get Infestors just to stop them and goo them if they do try that. Once my burrow gets done, I will be moving these roaches out. And of course, I need more overlords. But I'm going to queue my two hatcheries onto my expansion so once it does get done, I'll be able to saturate it. And a lot of times, I like to take drones from other bases and, and get some geysers down here just so I can get them going on the gas as soon as I can. Just because gas is so important right now because I need to pump out lots of hydras. More overlords just in preparation. And burrow is done, so let's move these roaches out and see how lucky we can get. And my hydras apparently.